This is Halicrafters Rehabs. Welcome back. And whenever you're doing project management, it's about uh, taking the tasks and arranging them so that they are so that there's a minimum of calendar time from start to finish. So we're going to apply a little project management. The next thing, linearly, the next task would be to string the dial. And then after that, there would be a t placing the dials on top of the, or into the radio at the right point, and then addressing the cover. But we are not going to do that. We're going to take the most time-consuming thing, uh, calendar-wise, and address that first which is we need to have this cover ready to use in order to do testing. And parallel to that, we can do other things. While this is being cleaned and then painted, and the paint is drying in the various layers, we will then uh, be working on other things. So, first we have to prepare this for painting. And this is a very important little thing that keeps you from having B plus voltage on your fingers if you're reaching inside the radio. So we want to take good care of this piece of cardboard which is 60 years old but still able to serve its purpose and I've seen uh, there's a bug thing on there. I've seen all kinds of damage to these things so we want to take care of that we're going to take the S meter out turn this around to orient simple four screws this really has earned its keep it's the exact right size for most of the screws that are used, or nuts, in the Halicrafters. This is, this is the first time I've seen a meter like this. Very interesting. This is a 1D. I haven't worked on I did. thought I did. Maybe it was a 1C that, that I did and didn't know it. But I've not seen a meter with these. That will be interesting to explore. Now that glass is plate glass and is simply cut directly. This is a little different. This is different glass than the one I've seen before. It's larger, wider. lips right out and we will put this in a safe place this glass needs to be cleaned only with the mildest of soap and a damp cloth because we don't want to damage any of that uh, let's put these back on the meter so we don't lose them very interesting I have to look at that more carefully. Of course we'll be cleaning this up very carefully. I've already damaged the face of one of these using headlight. You would think, oh yeah, yeah, just wipe this headlight stuff on. Well it's got abrasive in it and it's got a chemical that dissolves plastic. Hmm. So you want to put something that dissolves plastic to clean your headlights, huh? Not me. So I've got this, these on here. 
We're also going to save these and those washers, you know, in the ultimate protection against voltage are insulators. All right, we'll put that to the side. Now, I've already done that one. I'll have to pick it out. Save this hardware. So when that's loosened, let's get the tweezers. Alright. <clears throat> Who comes that? loose like that. This is some nice rubber material that will be have to be replaced because it's rotten. And it goes inside the seat where they look where that glass is with years of attic storage or whatever it was. <laughs> Pay attention when you put it back in. The band spread has these markings for the different meter bands, but the main tuning doesn't. Yes, I've made that mistake too. Let me, let me, if there's a mistake I can make, I am royally capable of doing it. There we go. It just pops it loose. With that, this is plate glass. It's as sharp as a razor. Great way to cut yourself with uh, dirty and go get a tetanus shot or something. My wife had went after a cat bit her. And they, Do I need a tetanus shot? And the doc said, well, we haven't had a case like that in about 20 years. I think he gave her the shot anyway. Said you might get cat scratch fever. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Okay. Very easy. Oh, let's see, there's a one, two, three, four down here which tells you what what band to look at, like because it is a rotary dial. Okay. So, these we're just going to save for, um, we'll find a replacement for that that's nice and soft. It's ready to clean. And we'll put this away in a safe place, wrap it in a cloth, and move on. We're going to spend the afternoon cleaning. It's a beautiful day outside, a great day to just sit in the sun and wipe, clean, maybe tell stories, <laughs> if I have any. I was able to clean the silver area. I used a quarter teaspoon or less, maybe a pinch, of trisodium phosphate in warm water and a shop towel and went over it and got most of the grime off of it and, and the spots and a fingernail helps too. And then some of the spots I went over with alcohol and a cosmetic pad just in the area the best I could. Do not get alcohol on the ink. It's, water, it's alcohol soluble. So, and then I went over it with, lightly, with 
this Renaissance micro crystal and wax polish, not heavy, very, very, barely enough to see it go down on the, on here. I would put it in areas where there's no ink and then, and then you could smooth it out over everything else. But it turned out as good as you will ever be able to get these, this, this is weak silver paint. It easily comes off. And of course, this is alcohol soluble, you know, every other kind of soluble ink over here. So that's it. And that looks pretty good. Now we got a lot of sanding and cleaning and everything else on this uh, outer metal. I'll, I'll probably go ahead and put a uh, mask this for painting just to keep from damaging while, while I'm doing other things to the. It's pretty rough. Got some rust areas here. I mean, it's not terribly rough. It's not like some things I see. But yeah, uh, it'll be some work to get ready. By the way, if anybody would like an inventory of tiny chiefs or bumblebee capacitors that they want to stash and keep as a uh, memento or as a um, uh, something to uh, stuff and put inside their radios for some strange reason can't restuff that one or maybe you have a um, like to start a museum of uh, uh, resistor types and over um, out of tolerance resistors oh well maybe not dispose of properly anyway if you want those capacitors I'll give them to you you pay the postage so I prepped it and then I sanded it 320 followed by 600 followed by 1500. It's a doesn't look like it, but that's a really smooth surface. And I th even though that's corroded, I think it will be okay once it's uh, painted with Rust-Oleum um, primer. And that's what we'll do first. You prep the back side too because the light bulbs uh, get their ground from a bare piece of the metal right there and there's a copper bushing a brass bushing right there for the antenna compensator that were this is a model 1d feature so we'll shoot this with a couple coats of primer I won't do the, the back with anything but primer. Well, the problem with project management is that it also utilizes resources more effectively. And since I'm my only resource, basically, <laughs> it doesn't make that much difference. Now, I've got two uh, options for a string. Uh, this is the one that was in SAMS, which is for one run one and kind of like that. This is the way it was done, I believe, or w at this particular uh, radio set was done this way and not this way. This is three and a quarter turns and two and a half turns and then goes around like that. So I'm that's just I think I like this one. We'll see how this one works. That seems to be what was done, and this is a little bit thicker than normal uh, string for these radios, but quite frankly, I'm tired of fish line, which doesn't work that well. So it sa says, oh yes, I ha used to have two of, one of these, but one of them got lost in the mess monster got it you know the mess monster <laughs> the mess mo the, <clears throat> the mess monster runs rampant in this place okay so we'll bring this around by two and a half turns to grip onto the to the band spread tuning dial that's the point and we will do it in the direction of 
this so it doesn't cross at any point. I've tried every kind of fish line. The last one is like 150 pound test and many strands but it still has too much give in it. So this is my first attempt at real dial cord and I didn't know which size to get so I just got big. So this is two and a half, well we're going to do three. I wish we had, uh, this thing had flywheels. It would definitely improve it. Okay, so now, oh the other thing doesn't say fully closed. That's fully closed. Right. <laughs> I love doing this over and over again and rework, doing rework, right? Okay. So we'll bring this around. Now if you use this thing, you don't wrap it. Okay. Actually, you're supposed to go around the pulley and then come through the little notch. If you can get the notch, the string inside the notch. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Now, what I do is I don't put it up there until after I've tensioned the spring. And then we just sit here and fiddle. And did I get the string long enough? Maybe. I think so. Let me put this down here so I can get to it. Actually, the spring is supposed to be loose right now. I probably needed to have it right about there. So let's go ahead and tension that up. That's right. There we go. Bring it around through the loop here, which is these little grabbers work perfectly for this job. Remember that. That's a that's one that's a keeper for me. All right. We call them electronic clothespins. Here we're going to do multiple hatchet half hitches somehow. We're not because we're not going to be able to get this through the hole. Let's get my plant. Can't see a thing without these. I'm getting old and blind. What a difference. Huh. It went in while I was fiddling with trying to make it happen. Okay. That's pretty loose up there. I'm going to make it real tight here. I should use the little hem oil to keep this from fraying. There we go. That's one. Dexterity is nowhere in my genes. My father was worked for, in a hosiery mill and he was a manager but he could loop. That was the thing back then, looping. I let that get too loose, I bet. And 
That it took a special skill. Dexterous fingers, which I don't have. Mess monster and floor monster. There we go. Okay. All right. Yes. Need my pliers. Any pliers will do. but only if I grab them properly, which I can't seem to do. There we are. But we can go on this side and then bring it around. Right? Doesn't want to go in right, always. Let's see if we can score up that lovely paint job. There we go. Then we just take this and roll it over to the other side. Somehow. Yes. It doesn't want to go. That's because it's not in place. There we go. It's supposed to be on the other one. That's why. That's it. Does it work? The answer is no. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's take this out. Put it in the right place at the right place. It's too loose. We'll be doing this again anyway. Yes. I'm going to use this Okay. What right here? What right here? Huh. Go figure. I think it won't, for some reason, this went around there, but it don't do it now. We have to do it the way that the rev, uh, number four did. There is no position that that's going to work. How about at the half position? There's another problem too. This is crossing over. I suppose you could do it that way, but that's too. Actually, that works pretty good. <laughs> it doesn't. 
<laughs> okay, we'll give it another shot. Okay, here we go. And we'll put this here. Right up against it. We we're forced to use this probably, I don't know, they may have changed the ratios and everything, who knows. Three turns. That's to grip the tuning knob. Three. Yeah, I'll give everybody a set of review. Alright, so let's go around this way. We're not going to do that yet. Let's go around this way. We're going to try again. Yeah, I did it. Good. Solid all things. Let's go around here. Hold this up. 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 Hold this Now, yeah. And that was done incorrectly. You know why? That's supposed to be over here. You're supposed to go around this way. That's not said by anybody. You're supposed to be able to read that. So what we're going to do is take it off and bring it around on the other side. That's the other good thing about three half inches is they come out when you want them. Let me just get that done without your time. Third attempt. Now every single loop I made was wrong. And you have to do it by experience because there's absolutely nothing in the documents that tell you this. So this has to wound that way, that has to wound that way as well. So all these loops down here were wrong too. That's why it popped. This, and I probably knew this sometime back, but it's been a while since I've done one of these. And it's wrong. That's 
Twisting wires, and string, phone phone, the map itself in a strange configuration. Table spot. Now yeah, let's try it. It's an orientation issue for sure. I think we got it. Now, now, wait a minute. That's moving around, so I want that right there. That's the reason why there's no paint on those. Uh, Those pulleys because guess what? This is what goes on in the factory too. Now, let's see if it works. The other thing I do is I sometimes bend it this way a little bit just to make it, you know, nice and lined up. That's perfect. You won't find that in the factory anywhere either. All right. And, uh, it's time to trim this off. and super glue it. Well, I took a paint break and managed to have a run. So I had to wipe that one area down. Never let those drip runs dry. Um, or you'll be sanding forever to try and get rid of it. So we'll let that dry and then touch it up in a few places. Now this is, uh, I did find the Nest Monster yielded the super glue. So let's get that on here. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I bet you I'll have the same issue doing this multiple times, even on the simple main tuning. And the reason for that is there's a lot they don't tell you. This is at the top, but this is at the bottom, fully closed. So you tell me. All right, so. It's got to be here. We'll see. This is where I remember doing it every other time. It's a real short little thingy. Three and a quarter turns. I bet you we're going to do it on the inside, not on the outside. Actually, it just means three full turns. Even though you do it on that side, it, it, <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't. That's what I want right there. Yeah. Go this way. Look at the arrows, right? I never looked at the arrows. I'm an engineer. Step one, throw away instructions. Okay. Let's see if that will work. It's pretty loose. See if we can get it closed all the way. Or open all the way. And it's not moving. Slipping. See how it just rolls up and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it just sort of slides up. Yeah. A little bit of super glue. A little bit, about a lot of bit. That's enough for to ruin a speaker spider. Does that sound like something I've done with super glue? Yes. Okay. Let's give it a test. I'll be back. All right. These have not been cleaned. Oh, what a nice, smooth operation this is compared to fishing line.
I will never use fishing line again. Wow. Solid. Tight. Exactly where you want it. How about this side? It's a little bit high. I got it a little loose is what it is, unfortunately. Very nice. See, this is like a reduction gear, see? I might want to use the other. I bet you I'm supposed to use the other one. Ah, yeah, that's tighter. Oh, does that work better? You never think that that's... Yeah, just a little bit tighter. doesn't run in, just barely misses. I could move it here. Yeah, that's at the full travel. You certainly don't want to put any more turns. Could even get it do with one less. Yes, I think we're done with that one. So next is the dial. For the dials, I just washed with hand soap and water and then I went over it with the backside more heavily with this micro crystalline wax and just so lightly on the front so this one is fan spread And we are at maximum capacitance, which is highest frequency. Should be up there at 30. And there's my little... i got to find my wrench. Okay, it was the wrong one anyway, so... I have the right one here. You line it up with the edge of the shaft. There's two set screws in the back here. This is the smaller of the two dimensions of set screws for Halicrafters. Sorry, my, my arm has to get over there to get inside this set screw. There we are. And you're setting it at 30 on top. Alright, test again. Uh, that's absolutely wrong. <laughs> Minimum capacitance. Had it backwards. Okay. When you're doing alignment, it's at 30, which is minimum capacitance. The capacitance is in the denominator, dummy. Don't you love it? Okay. Yeah. I've done enough alignment to know. Okay, that's it. And there's your and there's no sounds, no 
burrs, no squeakies or anything, uh, no rubbing of wires, which is, I consider, a real success, considering who's doing this. So I we'll just put a little bit of wax on the back side of this one. This is the main. So I'll put the heavy stuff on this side and then just lightly go over the other side. Just sort of accumulate it inside the cosmetic wipe. And come to loose like this. Now, this is what we go over on this side. Just barely there. And yet it brightened it up. Okay. Maximum capacitance, low frequency. <laughs> Dummy. It's interfering with the knob, which is understandable. Here's the wrench. Like a little chime, isn't it? We need a chime here. Just to go blowing in the wind. Ding, ding, ding. I love chimes. Well, uh, they get dirty. That's why we don't have chimes. We wouldn't want to have a dirty chime, would we? Everything outside gets dirty. This would be the short wrench. It just barely goes in there. Each time you have to fit it. Here we are. Wait. Line it up. There we go. Just use thumb lining, okay? Bring it around. And then we'll do this side. There are two set screws. Have you ever aligned a radio by cheating? You know how you cheat? Move the band <laughs> indicator a little bit. I just can't get it down to that frequency because it's so old. Well, I can. And then everything else lines up with that. It works. It's not actually cheating. You can do it that way. It just means that you better have all the bands work. Okay, dials installed, paint is drying. I'm going to go take a break. We're done here for today. That's pretty. Okay, that's it for this video. There's still a lot of little odds and ends to do before it's ready for testing. I have to finish up with this. And... Uh, Put in this shaft, put in the S meter, and the, uh, the pilot lamps and things like that. So uh, then it'll be ready for testing. So that'll be in the next video to get it ready. Uh, thanks for new subscribers and for thanks for watching.